Hi there, welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to play with paper and I hope you're having a very, very, very blessed day. Thanks for being here. Thanks for taking the time to watch my video. I haven't said that in a while and I just want you to know that um, I appreciate you choosing to watch my channel and I know you have other options, so I'm very grateful and honored that you chose this one. Okay, with that said, we're doing 30 Days of Sketches with Christy from Christy's Beautiful Life. This is going to be day eight, and yep, I'm cutting like a kindergartner, but that's okay. I have the sketch, so I'm one up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this was made by Rachel Usher. Gorgeous. I mean, is this not... 100% something I would do. It's all about scrappy bits and you don't have to have them symmetrical. You can do whatever you want. Um, I loved this, loved this. Now when I created this kit, I put a lot of papers in here because I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. This is what I came up with. I already made the base cause that's what I like to do. I like to create a base and then hang out with you guys and trial and error in it and see where it's gonna go. He has a big element here with the title and then two photos. Well, I only have one photo, which is rare for me, and this is actually 100% going to be a one photo layout. I don't have anything else. Um, so instead of a second photo, I cut this journaling card out of the cut of, uh, the cut aparts in my kit of papers that I made. Um, and I'm not sure how it's gonna go. We'll just kind of play it by ear. Now I have a few title op options. I have blessed. I have Grateful, and I have Autumn Days, all of which I think would work. I could even allow on this beautiful fall day, that could be my title. So I don't know if I will use any of these, but I am going to set them to the side here. Now, many times I have shown you guys things that, cards and things that people send me, and I tell you I'm going to reuse this. Well, this is going to be one of those days, I think. We'll see if it works. If it doesn't, I'll still already have it fussy cut. Recently, my friend Marcy um, gifted me some things from the Magolia Market here in Texas in Waco, and she sent me a card, and I love that card. So I fussy cut all the elements, and this is like, can you hear that? It's heavy duty cardstock. That's all cards are. Um, so I fussy cut the boots and the flowers, and I fussy cut these pumpkins off of there and some little elements here, and I'm gonna try to use them on this page today. I, I love them, they, the colors go really well, so we'll see what happens. What I was thinking, I'm just gonna kind of, usually I have these tacked down because I know exactly where I want them. That's not the case today. Today's a little different. Definitely going to do some trial and error. First, I wanna ink this, I do know that. So let's start with what I know. You guys know that's what I like to start with. So now, which way, so my photo's that way. So I definitely, I mean, I don't know how this is gonna end up in the album, so I don't think it matters. So now the next question is, do I want my big element here or do I want it? Cause I'm considering this boots with the flowers do I want my big element here or do I want it over here? Eh, I don't like it there. Okay, so there, there is that big element. And this is how this was on the card. Maybe even come up like this, okay. What if I were to go like that? Oh, I like that, okay. Now I just, I just kinda feel it out. See, I feel like this should be over there now. Hmm. I don't like the boots with that. Okay, maybe I should go like this. Oh, I didn't ink this one, darn it. I'll forget later too. Okay. I just, um, when I fussy cut this, I just cut the top off. It was too little. I wasn't gonna try to do this whole thing, no. And it had ribbons, so I wasn't gonna do that either. Okay. So what if I were to, cause I like this, like this kind of thing, like that. So what if I were to go like, uh, no, 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 ain't liking that. I don't know, the boots might not make it. Well, I could even just cover the boots up altogether for the most part. I could still do this whole scenario. 
I want the boots. I wonder if I could put it in here. Oh, okay. Now I don't necessarily not like that. I don't know. Somebody say, do it like that, Ginger. Do you have another big element if I can't make this work? See, now I was thinking this up on foam. This is how it was on the card. I, I fussy cut these apart like that. But I'm thinking maybe put this up this way. I like that. Okay, so I need some foam. Grab some foam. Okay, so got the foam on there. And like that. I do like this. I just, I don't know. Hmm. Well, I kind of had it set in my heart that I was going to use these. Okay. So my doorbell rang. Sorry. All right. So I got that. I put the foam on this. I have it sitting here. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. Like I was dead set I was going to use this, but I'm not sure now. Let, let's try something else. I do have other goodies sitting here next to me. And in that, I have this acorn that I made a long time ago for Donna's Swap. This one needs to be, these were some extras. And this one I printed out kind of like the lighthouse embellishments I did a few days ago, if you were to watch that. And I did these. Let's see, let's, let's give it some more ink. Give it some more character and some love. Now, when I did that swap, I put a lot of gems here. Maybe I could do that again. I like made the, the top part of this acorn stand out. Oh, I definitely like the more inking. I'm just kind of taking the edge and inking this part of it. There we go. I like that. Nothing outside in fall is clean and cr crisp other than the air, right? Okay, so what if I were to use that instead? <sighs> I really like those boots, but that's okay. I'll have those embellishments for another time. Well, I was afraid that might happen. Um, What if this was my big element and somehow I used... Should we do autumn days? That breaks up all the pattern, right? Like, I like this blessed. All these were all in swaps. This was done by Laura. I don't know who this one was done. But I need to break up some of this pattern with some solid, I think. I love this here, autumn days. And I wonder, because there's a lot of leaves on this paper, this cartabella. This is all cartabella paper, which you already know if you watched me make them. Maybe almost like a long, one long cluster and it includes a photo is what I'm picturing right now. I could use these though. No, no, focus, Ginger, focus. <laughs> it's too much. Now I did pull out all these gorgeous leaves that I've been collecting and I do have, I, I've gotten all of these in Happy Mail at one time or another from my Scrappy Pals. I also have these that someone made. I'm wondering if I should tuck this in. As much, and maybe just hide that little pumpkin with an animal. Could probably do that. Oh, look at this owl. He has to go there on foam. Okay, the owl's going. We have the fox. We want him over here too because he's facing the right way. Now, I'm going to arrange these, and then I'm thinking I'm going to take leaves and just go to town. Hello? What is this on there? I don't know what that is. Um, That green doesn't quite match, but maybe. I don't know. It needs to say, like, hello, fall. I don't know. Set that one aside. This one, where could we stick this one? I love this little guy, but especially over here with the acorn, right? What else do I got? So thankful for you. These are cute. Thanks. These are just sentiments. Happy fall. Oh, that could go there. I do like that there. And then here's some leaves. Oh, this one even has like some little detail on it. This one's cool. Okay, autumn days. Put the anchor or the acorn anchor. <laughs> at the sea <laughs> an anchor oh my gosh all right i'm lighting the little raccoon 
love this here. Let's see. I'm just going to keep playing with it. Let's play with the leaves. So let's start building this up. Some solids. Okay, I have more of these kind than the solids. So let's start with the solids so we can evenly disperse them. We'll use these two. Um, let's see here. Let's do the brown against this. Let's have brown sticking out here. A leaf. And let's do this leaf. Try to do them in sets of two. All right, there's that. Then let's match this and this up just for elimination. Can't have two together. So we've got one there. Let's put one over here. Okay. I think I'm struggling because I had it in my head that I was going to use those boots. Okay. It's almost like the acorn is saying the statement. So that's good. Then I need to take all of these leaves again. I have to regroup here. Now, here's where I'm going. I have my critters here. I have my title here. This and this. That looks balanced to me as much as possible. I mean, this whole thing is going this way, right? All right. I need to take these off the board so I'm not looking at them. Sometimes I have too much stuff and I have to, this is why I can't have cluttered space. It, it's too much for me. Okay, so all of these leaves, I'm going to cut in half. Not these ones, just these. I'm gonna get as much for them as I can. Okay, so I've cut all these in half and I pulled out some, I found some more leaves that I had in my drawer that I always keep here. You guys have seen me do that before. So what I am going to do is just tuck them in or around. You know, a lot of times you guys think that, you know, well, maybe you don't. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I, I should think before I make this statement that it's just easy for me. And it's, sometimes it's not. Like sometimes I struggle just like all of you. I'm, I'm not perfect either. I'm not. But I have fun. That's, that's I do have lots of fun. Okay, so I'm just, I want to fill this part in, I've decided. So I'm gonna take this away and I'm gonna work on tucking these flowers in, or these leaves flowers, I don't even know what they are anymore. And I'm actually tucking them underneath this piece here. And I'm just kind of creating a cluster. So let's put some, I think this would look better against this over here. So that will be our ending one. And I think this, would look better than this green one. We can save that for something else. Okay, that's good. Then by cutting all these in half, what I've done is I'm giving myself double of what I had. Because those are gorgeous. I don't know about this one, but maybe a yellow one would look good there. I like that better. Or we could use one of these yellows, which is a different shape. So let's do that. Okay, and we'll just put this one in here. It'll match the fox when we put all the, I've taken everything away, so it, it's gonna be easier for me. Let's put some green in here. Yeah, I like that. All different shapes of leaves. They don't all have to be the same size. We'll end this with this, and that's the end of that, okay. Then what do I have here? Now I want to kind of the same span, I'm gonna do it down here, okay? I was gonna cut, thought, well, I could just cut it out and go to the end, no. No, because I want you guys to understand, I'm not perfect either. I struggle too, just like all of you, I struggle too. Some days, scrapbooking is super easy for me, and other days, it's a chore, but, it's a good chore. It is, I enjoy it. Okay, that one can go that way. We need to push that one more that way. And let's put something in between there. How about this one? Looks good. Ta-da! Then I'm going to do this one. I think I might not use this one, and if I do, it'll be somewhere else. Different shape. We'll go underneath here, and we ended with that so let's end with this color 
again. Uh, I don't like that. Let's switch these. This one here, this one here, or even the yellow. Yeah, that yellow looks good. Okay, just like that. All right. See, it was it was too busy. I think that's why I got all frustrated. I can still put the owl here, which was my original plan. Okay, the owl can go there. This can go here, just like so. What I do need is I need some leaves tucking out of here. So let's do this green one. Hmm. And the yellow one. Oh man, all the yellows on this side. So what I need to do is I need to take, boy, this one out and this one out. I'll put this one where that one was. That's a lot of jagged edges. All right, I can do this. This is where it starts getting complicated. Just talk your way through it. That's what I do. Just be a chatty Kathy like me. Okay, now, need to, I'm going to show you why I'm thinking all this here in just a second. This one cannot work, but this red can, which is what I had. And you're going to do that. It's going to just back and forth, back and forth. I'm trying to mix up the shapes, number one, and I'm trying to create a visual triangle, number two. Okay, so now let me explain this. And I am going to put the gems in here, like I said. And then I'll put some gems. I'll use the gems as my enamel dots thing. I kind of want this guy, but not enough. I think it looks better without it. And, but I do maybe want the acorn because mimics. Now, here's why I kept switching them and moving them. Because I've got yellow, 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 right? Okay. Green, green, I kind of need some green over here and I don't know how, I don't have another one, but I do have this. So I will slide this in here and just like that. And that's okay. It's enough, it's not perfect, but you know, not always gonna be perfect either. So I wish I had another one of this color. I don't, but I have two greens here, right? Oh, come on, two greens here. So there's that. So I will take one of these mauve ones, which is close to that color, and put that in its place. So let's just play with this again, trying to make it work. Green, just like that. And there's our bird. So am I, make, I, I don't know if I'm making sense or not. I'm trying to make sure I am drawing your eye all the way around the entire thing is what I'm trying to do. So here I, <clears throat> I have the yellow, I sort of have red. I mean, it's going to move your eye. This one maybe should be over here. Or maybe even I should switch this one up. I'll work with it some more when I go to glue it down. But that's what I'm trying to do, right? Green, 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 you know, it makes, you're gonna go around the photo. And that's the focus, is the photo. That, that's what you wanna do. Um, when you're doing clusters like this or when I'm doing them, honestly, that is what I do. Okay, now that is going to be the page, 100%. Kind of wish I got the fox in there, but that's okay. Because he's so cute. I mean, I could put him there, but the owl is just too much. I love him. I love owls. And owl's going to win for me every day. <laughs> and here's the other thing. I have three faces. Face, face, face. So I learned all of that. This is not mine from Miss Janet Madison of RTS Honestly, I did. When she said that, go mimic the things you've already done to start learning how to cre create clusters. Oh my gosh, a light bulb went off for me. It truly, truly did. Janet is 100% what I consider my mentor. I don't want to say I want to grow up to be like Janet kind of thing. Um, we're. I think we've been scrapping the same amount of time, but she just makes it she puts it in a way and teaches. It's a teaching kind of thing that I don't even think she knows she does, but a wonderful person. Anyway, if you don't follow her, it's worth your dollar. A dollar a month for Patreon, and she gives so much information. It's just, I don't need her brain. I wish I could just like have a little sliver. <laughs> 
That's creepy, isn't it? That's creepy. I mean it in the best way. <laughs> okay, let me quit babbling. Let me um, go glue it down. I'll come back and show you how I see it in my head because I think the gems are just gonna make it all pop. So I will be back and we'll talk about it more because I like to talk. <laughs> Alrighty, I got it all glued down. Now I could have edited this video and I could have made it really short, but I get questions all the time about what advice I would give to learn how to make clusters. You guys, I don't think my clusters are that good. You're very, very kind to me. But I also want to pass along what I've learned from wonderful people like Janet that I spoke of earlier. So I left a lot of it in. And I did that because it's just trial and error. And that's how I adopted that thing that I always say, okay, we're gonna trial and error because that's all it is. I try a little this, I try a little that, but then I try to keep a few rules that I mentioned, you know, trying to keep the triangle, making sure I have each color in each area. Cause really for me, here's where your, your eye is gonna go. There's some journaling, words, words, okay? And then the colors are gonna also draw your eye, but it's all around my central photo. The best way I learned to do this is to start with a one photo layout and just concentrate on not a big, a medium, a small. Maybe just concentrate on doing one large cluster around that photo and learning, this is how I learned to pull the eye around a central area and then move bigger and bigger and so forth. That's how I do it. It doesn't always turn out. And like you saw today, I struggled. One, I had something totally different in mind. I really thought I was going to use the boots and the sunflowers. Two, I, I, you know, I couldn't figure out where I was going to make what I had already work. Here's another tip. Just because it isn't easy doesn't mean you shouldn't try. And here's why I say that. Don't go buy a new product because when it isn't just easy, and a lot of the product we did, our sticker sheets and all of that, is already, they make it easier for us. So try, try it. Try to just pull some things together and use them. Then you won't spend money and you'll use what you have. That's what I'm getting at. I hope that helps. I hope that the long video doesn't drive you crazy. I know a lot of people like short videos. I don't care what length they are. Me personally, I love all creative styles and sizes, shapes, and colors because I think I learn from them. But I also know our time is limited. It is, mine included, more so lately. And it's going to get worse, right? The holidays are coming. That, I left it all in because I really want to inspire you and I hope it helps. And I hope maybe you smiled um, along the way. I had to cut out some funny things. I left some in, but there were some really funny moments. This this layout for one page literally took me three hours, <laughs> which I know for a lot of people is short, but for me, I I am busy. I mean, this is not the only thing I do. I can usually, if I have a page kit, can kick out a layout in 40 minutes, for start to finish, hands down. So um, that three hours is a long time for me. Keep in mind, I've been scrapbooking for over 20 years. I also have five kids, so I've scrapbooked a lot, a lot. Um, and so I just, I hope that it helps. I hope you have a blessed day. I encourage you to go get those sketches from 30 Days of Sketches with Christy. Check out the playlist that's in the description. And don't just take what I do. Go watch everyone else and see what they do. That's what I do myself. So be inspired. Have a very blessed weekend, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye.